This is Eugene Panrudkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo IdeaPad P500 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on the Lenovo IdeaPad P500 laptop computer. Uh, this computer contains an internal battery which you cannot easily remove, so we cannot remove the battery before we start the procedure so we need to shut the computer down all the way make sure it's not in sleep or hibernate mode make sure it's shut down before we start the procedure also uh, for the model number sometimes it's hard to find the model number for this laptop computer it's really easy it's on the lower left hand side of the screen assembly and here's P500 so the first thing we need to do is remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. But before we start that, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to need for the procedure. We have a PH, PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size and that's to remove the screws. We have a pointed hobby knife or an exacto knife and that's to remove any adhesive tape or lift up adhesive tape and we have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate any cables or remove any screws that may be stuck okay so let's get started the first step in the procedure is to snap off the screen bezel what I like to do for this part is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side find a place where you can grab onto and gently start lifting up and out and listen for snapping sounds. You, this way, you go around the whole screen assembly, like so. And if you get stuck at a place, say corners, for example, uh, snap off this bezel around them, and then come off, uh, come back to them later. It's sometimes it's easier that way. In this case, it's not. So let's keep going. We keep snapping it off. This corner came off easily. And now that this corner is off, the other corner comes off easier also. The same thing from the bottom. You snap off the screen bezel on the bottom. Like so. And gently pull the screen forward or pull it up and forward. There's some, uh, this, the hinge covers have some locks on there too. So if you pull forward and up, eventually you'll we'll work them loose. Once we do that, we set the screen bezel aside and look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted to the back of the screen assembly by two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So let's take a look we want to remove not the screw on the left the second screw from the right or the second screw from the left and also the second screw from the right right for this step uh, let's make it we got to make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit and the reason for that is when you remove all four screws you don't want screw screen to fall forward on you also on the top you want to remove the second screw from the left and the second screw from the right from the right. So let's start with the top screws and set them aside in their own pile. And that's three and four. Okay, once we do that, we gently take the screen and gently lay it flat. Make sure not to do what I did, let it drop. So gently lay it flat, like so. Okay, and once we do that, we take a look at the screen. There's only one connector to the screen and it's secured by adhesive tape. So the first order of business to remove this connector is to remove the adhesive tape. And we use our hobby knife to lift up the corner with adhesive tape and then gently lift it up with our fingertips. Okay. 
like so. Once we do that, we pull the adhesive tape back and then grabbing the back of the connector, we slide the connector out like so. Okay, I'm gonna reconnect it. When you slide it back in, when you have your new screen and slide the connector back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up of the connection. Okay, pause the video right there. This is a properly connected connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, now let's pull the connector out and take a look at this screen. Okay, this is a 15.6 inch slim screen. This is what's called 15.6 inch slim LED screen. And let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LTN156AT29. Uh, when you get your new screen in, most likely it will not be the same part number, but it will look exactly the same and the connector will be in the same place. Okay, so you can order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you would need to do is go to www.screensurgeons.com There will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model number and then they will guide you to the buy the right screen online. And what you get with us when you buy the screen is this exact same toolkit that you see in this video. It comes for free with every screen. We have fast shipping, which fast and free shipping. We ship using Priority Mail from Louisville, Kentucky. So your screen will arrive in two or three days, most likely. And we have a two-year warranty on our screens and free email technical support. If you have a problem during the installation, let us know and we'll help you out. Also, uh, we ship to, if you're not in the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. So just go through the checkout process and select your country. Okay, once you do get your new screen in, connect it as I showed you, mount it in the screen assembly, making sure the cable is routed properly and use the, the tweezers if you have to, to route the cable properly. Put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom, snap, the screen bezel back on and you're done and that should be it okay that's it uh, once again my name is Eugene Panrutkiewicz I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck